Okay, so now I'll record the road noise relative to um, the traffic, the weather, the acceleration, things like that, normal driving conditions. So, as I turn over here, so as you can see, it's raining, so you're going to be a little bit of noise. stretch up here. Back up. So right now I'm going 40 miles an hour. Cruise control is on. Radio is off. It is raining. Stop the video again. So now I'm going 41 miles an hour. So the good thing about this car as well is the stereo turns up and down if you accelerate. So it detects the outside noise and the acceleration of the car and it turns the volume up when you're going through uh, spurts of, of acceleration. Uh, and then when you slow down, it goes back down to the uh, volume that you had it prior to. So it does do that, so it's very nice that, that uh, fluctuates based on the noise surrounding it and um, yeah two thumbs up for the radio adjusting that's good and overall noise like I said it's I'll shut up so you can see it Turn up the radio for a second. Strive for tradition of education. Well, maybe. Sandwich for all I can put with these little food as a sandwich. As a marketer. So, what it sounds like, the real one. Or, Dave, it's 
about real estate. Every station got a commercial on it. It did turn up and it did turn back down. Uh, I don't know if you guys could tell that um, on the video, but it did what it was supposed to do. Um, not significant uh, volume increase, but uh, it does come up and it does go back down. So, um, yeah. All right, I hope that helps on the noise question and um, the overall sound uh, of the noise from the outside relative to cars passing by. Here comes some more cars passing by, so I'll shut up so you can listen. So, not sure if you could hear that, but hear a group of cars coming ahead of me, so I'll let you listen to that too. Any questions, comments, let me know. In addition to the speed test or the noise test, uh, what I didn't cover in the video earlier about the review of the 2018 Honda is the uh, backup camera. So that um, I'll show you now. So obviously you put it in reverse. There's three settings, which is cool. So you have wide um, so you can see everything. Um, then you have the middle button here, which is a more narrow view, so I'll tr push that. You see? More narrow than the other one. This one's really wide, so if you see it on the right, it goes directly to the left. Like, almost, um, you can see that now if I switch this one, it goes to the side of the building. So more isolated to the middle. Now this one is a direct picture facing down. And as you can see, I don't know how to park. Um, so I'll pull up a little bit. I'll show you what it looks like. So that's what it looks like facing down. Um, so you know how far you are away from the curb or bush or whatever it may be. So you can see that. And the same thing here. So this is this is your setting. Whatever you have it set at is where it'll go back to. Um, so there you go. So that is the backup camera. And one other part that I forgot to cover yesterday in my uh, haste to get it all done is the center part. So uh, it is soft to the touch. It's a little harder than what I would have liked. It's not as soft as the uh, cushion here. A little bit harder than that, but not bad. It doesn't hurt the elbows or anything like that. And then there's a little tray here that you can pull out. Inside you have uh, USB or you have um, a regular standard lighter. Uh, I have a USB plug into it uh, for my charger here. And then a big open compartment there. And the tray sits, there's um, a grooves right here. So that little tray stays in place and doesn't, doesn't slide around. It slides back and forth, but it doesn't, uh, no fear of it falling apart or anything like that. All right, so that is, I believe, outside of the stereo system and the speakers and, and that kind of stuff, um, I think that's pretty much it for the for the review. Um, so, all right, I hope you like it. It's informative. If you have any questions, let me know. All right, thanks. Thanks for watching.